Hi, my name is Dan McClung, former Chargers beat writer for CBS Sports, and currently I'm a stadium activist. This November, we have an opportunity to do something truly special in San Diego, provide a, a pathway that will keep both the Chargers and Comic-Con in San Diego with a new convidium, a stadium and a convention center. And we have the opportunity to do it without using any general fund money. There's two propositions on the ballot, Prop C and Prop D. I'm urging your support for both propositions because there's more in common than there is difference. Both propositions are supported by the Save Our Bolts, the San Diego Stadium Coalition, and the Chargers. Both propositions ensure that no general fund money will be used for either a stadium or a convention center. Both propositions provide funding to expand the convention center non-contiguously. And both propositions entitle the land for a stadium and convention center in downtown San Diego to be built together. That will save nearly $200 million in construction costs. Here's where they differ. The Chargers Initiative, Prop C, raises the TOT from 12.5% to 16.5% and provides $350 million worth of funding to go towards a stadium. About 150 of that will go towards construction costs, 200 towards other costs. The construction cost for a stadium with the Convadium concept that has a roof on it like the Chargers are proposing is approximately $800 million. They will pay for $650 million of that 350 coming from the Chargers and 300 from an NFL loan, which the Chargers are ultimately responsible for paying back. Now, Prop D raises the TOT to 15.5% and does not provide any money for the construction cost of a stadium. However, there is a vision that to possibly build a stadium without a roof on it where the construction cost would only be $680 million. Not much different than the $650 million of the Chargers and NFL are currently promising towards the project. We also believe that Prop D would only require a 50% vote, although City Attorney Jan Goldsmith says otherwise. We know that Prop C requires two-thirds because it earmarks money, although the Supreme Court could decide differently between now and November. But assuming they don't, going into November, if Prop C were to fail to reach two-thirds and Prop D were to reach 50%, we have a pathway to take Prop D into court and secure a victory to move forward. So that's why we're urging you to vote yes on both Prop C and Prop D. The other thing I'm urging you to do is to join me in a yes for C and D video challenge. Make your own video, explain why you will vote yes on Proposition C and D and share it on social media like Facebook and Twitter. This gives you an opportunity to talk to your friends, your family, and your neighbors why you support these propositions. And in doing so, they are more likely to vote for them. So, again, make a video, post it to social media, Facebook and Twitter, and hashtag it, yes, C and D video. Thank you, and join the challenge while voting yes on C and D.